Hi y'all, it's Pam again with Mason Lance Designs and I'm here with another Zoom Notes video. Today we're going to talk about the um, text tool and the eraser tool because the eraser doesn't have a whole lot um, to it. So right beside this A that you see that I have chosen, we're going to click on the eraser tool and it just gives us an auto stop, um, erase whole strokes and then filter pen types. I'm not sure. Um, Oh, I guess you can erase certain or not erase certain pen types. That's really cool. I've not even used that yet. But the auto stop is, is really simple when you're when you're drawing something and then you want to erase it. As soon as you're done, it goes. Well, I turned it off. I'm sorry. It goes right back to the pen tool you were using. If I have auto stop, then that means I would have to go up, see how it changed it. I would have to go up there and click it, you know, automatically. And then another thing about the eraser tool is when you start using it, it's kind of small. But when you kind of click on a little harder and faster, it just, it gets bigger. So you can erase something that's really fine. You know, you just want to be really careful of how much you erase. That's easy to do that with. Okay, and the pen tool is really similar. I mean, the text tool is really similar to the pen tool. Okay. So right here at the style, you have, of course, your font you can choose, which this has all the fonts that's on your iPad. You have the color, and here we go back again to the um, color palette. You can pick the color you want, and then, of course, at the bottom, you have the um, bold, the italicized, and then the underlined. And then it has, um, I think that's uh, showing one of the things that I've recently saved. And um, here's the font size. You can do it, you know, by points. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what these bottom two things are. Um, hopefully, once I learn a lot more over the next several months, I might come back and redo some of these videos to explain more of what um, the buttons do. Okay, so there's your font size. The next one is a border. If you want to add a border around it, the border width, the side padding, and then the uh, radius of the corners, you can, um, instead of making them just square, you can, you know, make them curved at the ends. Um, if you wanted to fill your box, this is a way you can do that and then change the opacity. And then here's the saved, and it works just like the pen tool. So... Everything, you know, not everything, I'm sorry, but um, like the highlighter works just like the pen tool. And you don't have to put in your um, hex codes or your new colors in the pen tool and then in the highlighter tool. And then for the text tool, they all kind of are related together to where like the colors and stuff and the, you know, it has one color palette for the whole Zoom notes. It's not something you've got to put in, you know, individually. Okay, so here is my save, and the save and the groups work just like it did um, in the other one. And here is my saved style that I'm using. So you just long click and click text, and then you just write what you want to. See, I had that small because I was using it to fit, you know, nicely right inside those lines. So I typically take the text box and just kind of scroll it in real quick. Okay, and then if you're not particular at what the exact point size is, I can go over here to the selector tool right by the A and circle it. And I don't have to long press to do anything. All I do is circle it and then I can resize it. If you want just a quick resize to, you know, visually you want to see how bigger it gets instead of just messing with the points. You can do that, you know, very easy and then just tap off of it. So that's how I've used the uh, text tool, and I really like it. I'm sorry, I didn't have to long press a second ago. All you do is press down, and then you can start typing again. If I can spell correctly. Okay, so here I come back up here and just bring it over so that it doesn't, you know, all this extra isn't out there to maybe when you tap something close to it, it'll tap this instead of what you're wanting to tap if that makes sense. 
And so it's really easy if you're wanting to, you see how quickly that was, as long as you, um, you've got the A chosen up here and you want to move your text, you just tap on, tap on it and then move the blue dot. It's really, <laughs> sorry about that. It's really quick to use. Um, there's no, like I said, long pressing stuff. It's easy once you get used to it, you know, to navigate, you know, do the changes and stuff that you, that you want to do. It's easier to do that than, you know, long pressing. And then you've got a, a menu to choose from and all. And so that's, you know, one of the things that I've really didn't realize how much I loved about Zoom Notes until I went back to Good Notes 4 and 5 and was like, wow, I didn't realize how quick that was that you can maneuver around and, you know, work in your planner the way you want to without pressing nearly as much as what you do in the other apps. So uh, I'm through with this testing word. And so you see how it's already highlighted? Okay, the garbage can up at the top. It's not, you can't see it. Um, it's not like colored in. And so I won't be able to use the trash can to erase it. But if I come over here next to it with the selection tool, and I'll talk more about that um, in another video, then I can circle it. You see how it's highlighted without long pressing anything. Then I can come up here to the trash can and press it and it quickly erases it. So, um, so that was the eraser tool and the um, text tool. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for listening. Bye.